And the only Chef Gay Santos is here yes. from Tony Sachery, yes. and you're cooking some ribs. We are. Yes. It's so hot outside, so I decided to do a slow cooker rib. Yes. Oh. You know, yes. you can do Put it, it in and walk away. Yeah, and then <laughs> Great idea. you make it, act like you did it outside. Yes. But, um, so what kind of ribs do we have here? So the, those are, um, actually those are pork baby back ribs. Okay. You can back. use um, your short ribs or any kind of ribs, beef ribs. This recipe is very versatile. Okay. So, and um, one tip that you were going to talk about is. tip of the day is, my husband husband taught me this. Okay. He's a very good cook. So he, uh, take the membrane off of the bone on the inside. Okay. And your flavor can permeate into the meat. So you so just kind of started it with, an, oh, that comes off really I started easy. A, it doesn't really come off that easy. I just did oh. it for you. Oh. oh. <laughs> she <laughs> was there first. <laughs> she used the lid for me so on the jar. Cut, so. You cut it a little bit and then you pull that membrane off all your ribs and that, that flavor will permeate into the ribs. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now, so, what do you do next? So, you're going to take that piece of rib that you just, and you're going to put it in the bag. Okay, easiest way to marinate, right? Uh, you'll Stick be on. using our pork 30-minute marinade. So, pour that into the bag. And, and you're going to marinate that for 30 minutes. About it's how very long? delicious. That's it. What's in there? 30 Smell minutes, it. huh? What's in there? Mm. It's oh, got wow. Worcestershire. It's got Tony's seasonings, lemon juice. It's got, all, it's that delicious. Right. Right. Fabulous. And because we pulled that membrane back, it's going to go right in. Yeah. Like, and like, this goes in the fridge? Those, that goes in the fridge, or you can leave it out, actually, okay. for 30 minutes. You can leave that out, and then your meat will be, be room temperature when you start cooking it. Okay. 30 minutes, and that's all? 30 minutes. Wow, okay. 30-minute marinade. So this has been marinating for 30 minutes in yes. the bag. What next? Yes. So um, you are going to show us how to season the meat. Okay. So we took it out of the marinade. Okay. I'm going to take this away. Okay. So you won't be confused. Okay. And uh, you're going to season the meat with the Tony Sasseries. Now, you're using a no-salt seasoning. It's brand new on the market. It has brown sugar in it. So it's going to caramelize your uh, great ribs here. Ooh, and that'll help to hold the juices in too, oh, right? Oh, yes, definitely. And it's very seasoned. It's good. Oh, so okay. you can just season liberally. Ooh, literally. Yes, liberally. Let's and go like if that. somebody's trying to cut down on too mm -hmm. much salt, this is right. taking it right out, right? Now, my, I use a little bit of the seasoning as well with the salt on it. Mm -hmm. So um, because it doesn't have any salt, you can turn it. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this on there and this. Oh, okay. We're doubling up. This, you're not sa salting it anymore. You're just okay. putting more flavor. And the salt also helps to give it a nice crust, too, because it dries out that little extra topping, right? And then it can yes. really sear good and plus yes. with all that brown sugar on and there. And that brown sugar is going to make it, you know, even browner. So you're going to put it in the skillet. And we're going to hear that sizzle. Oh, Love yeah. Love that. Um, so you're going to brown it on all sides, and then you're going to put it in your crock pot. Now, question, since the ribs are curved, how would you get them brown in there? Or do they not have to really be that brown on the inside right, on the rib side? Right. Okay. We just want to brown them on the outside, mm -hmm. so they have kind of like a brown. But your sauce is so dark, as you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sauce is so dark, it's not going to really show. But I always like to brown it. I don't know. It seems weird to put them in there raw. Okay. You know? <laughs> well, and once again, that, especially in a slow cooker, that helps yeah, to kind of, kind of lock in some of the flavors, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. I like to And lock in the juices. So, like so okay. as far as all the... Uh, spices and seasonings and rubs and everything about how many does Tony Sachery have they have four rubs uh, I mean seasonings they have this 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 okay. one uh, more spice and original so they have four seasonings you can put all those in your pantry I mean you always need a different one for every occasion right and they go on just about anything, anything. right yes anything like <laughs> I told them earlier I, I knew a lady that put them into pralines Ooh. Oh, my gosh. You know, a sweet just sour, yes. Oh, my goodness. And then we started coming up with the idea. Yes. Why not sprinkle it on some pecan pie with some plum-flavored ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Or we're yes. going to put it on watermelon here right. shortly. It's that little bit um, of spice. Yeah, that's going to be coming Salt. up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put four pounds of ribs in here. The recipe on your website has mm -hmm. four pounds of ribs. You slice them, and then we're going to put a little sriracha sauce, a little teriyaki sauce, and then you're going to cook this down for seven hours on low. Seven hours. So cover it, cover it up. This is something to do in the morning. morning. You can get all prepared in about that yeah. half an hour, 45 minutes. I mean, as long as that takes to to do the seasoning and there exactly. and marinade, and then you're ready by dinner time with that, right? Yes, and then you're gonna take them off over here. Okay. Just take them out of your crock pot, and then you're gonna decorate them with a little sesame seed and green onions for your guests. Okay. And they're really, really beautiful and and tasty. Look and at anything that setup. Cooked. Gets you a that rib and, and dip it apart. Dip it into that sauce. Oh, dip there you go. There. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna tell you about our cookbook we're giving away today. It's oh, uh, that's right. we have a 1888 number. It's 1888 mm. Creole, and you'll get a free cookbook with 90 recipes. And look, this cookbook has some great recipes. This is what you need.
Yes. <laughs> yes. Bring it home and cook with it. Any time it on my, bone like my that. husband's nightstand. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> my husband's nightstand. <laughs> I love that that they fall off the bone. You can dip them in the sauce there. Um, mm -hmm. We're not going to mess your hands up to have you taste any, but mm. but we'll be doing this another recipe in just a bit. You want to be able? Mm. Right. right, right there. And like yeah. I said, this is new on the market. Oh, no, you can sure. find it in your seasoning section, yeah. and it is fabulous. Okay. All right. Well, like you Thank about, you so much. Stick around because we're going to be doing some of these good Cajun seasonings and making a watermelon salad. And if you've never had, pardon me, I'm licking my fingers here, mm -hmm. a good watermelon salad, oh, my goodness. We've been experimenting, <laughs> believe it or not, with some of the little tasty.